and um, this vet has, uh, this um, magpie has apparently come from another veterinary practice this morning. Been sent home from another veterinary practice and is having trouble. What's the story? Can you tell me the story? It's, it's right foot can't clutch and yes. it can't even climb out of the um, can't even climb out of here. The basket. Okay. Well, Anne, if you'll just take the camera and you can video me, and we'll just examine this little birdie, and then we'll see what we see what we find. I might get this off. Yes, film it. I'll make it for a moment. Yes, it it um in trying to get out of the cage, it uh, I noticed it got blood on both legs. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have a look, and we'll see what we find. Hi, baby. Gentle, gentle. Just calm, calm, calm. Oh, calm. Oh, not, no. What were the circumstances that the vet sent at home? How, how come, you, how come so, you picked it up from a veterinary practice? Oh, they rang us and said... Hmm? They rang. And said it was right to go home? It was right. It just needed a couple of days' care, but I thought it might need more than that. Oh, surprise. Okay. Okay. Did they tell you anything about the, the worms in the throat and all that? No. Right? No, they just said it. Okay, well, that's keep, a, it, keep it for a couple of days and then take it right. back. Okay, well, yeah. we've got a throat full of worms, spiroid worms, um, on both sides of the throat down here. Um, so that's the first thing I noticed. Um, that's quietly, Maggie. Anyway, we've got... I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but anyway, um, we've just got a... A huge bundle of worms coiled down on the inside of the throat on both sides. Okay. Okay, anyway, they're called spiroid worms. And they're not going to help the birdie be thrifty. Okay, next thing. Um, all right, Maggie, I'll calm you in a moment. I'm just getting an, an idea, though. Did they tell you about the large injury to the wing? No. All right? Ooh. So it's got blood all over its patagial membrane and it's got a wound, wound up here. And there's a wound just there and I'm just trying to find out what that is, what's going on there. Now it's quietly, but anyway. So over the top of the left, well, left shoulder area there is a, a scab and there is a... I'm just trying to see if it's a gunshot wound or... What's going on? I'm just having a pick here, and I'm pulling out the scab with stuff that's been pushed in under the skin. Like an abscess, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, there's more. Alright, so that came from under, the, basically under the skin. So there was a wound there, and there is more. That's not all there is to it, but anyway, I've got... Come back to that little hole. Sorry, Maggie, but we're just making a cut. I can't feel an air gun slug, but anyway, but the blood, the blood over here, over the tail membrane, is probably from what in, whatever caused that injury. Okay, we can grip okay with the left leg. We're just working our way around here. All right, Maggie. if you went calm for a little while. It would be nice. It would be nice. Life would be a lot easier if you were just calm for a little while. Just be calm, be calm, be calm. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Just quietly. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, we'll try once more. 
around once more. Ah. Hey? Talking quietly. Talking quietly. Talking quietly. That's calm. Thank you. Not working for me today. I'll just accept that and not fight it. Okay, right leg. Right leg's got a fracture in the. got a broken bone in the broken um, tibia tarsus. It'll be right in a couple of days, sure. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Hmm? Didn't think so. Right, well, we've got a. A large swelling here um, in the in the um, gastrocnemius tibia tarsal region. You can see a big swelling between my thumb here. Right there, it is all swollen. This part of the leg is wasted. The bird's got a pressure sore and callus developing here from trying to sit on this leg and favouring that one. This one's been so painful, so it's been taking all its weight on this leg. So we've got a problem developing, it'll leak into the joint here if we're not careful. Uh, need to settle the, the good leg down as well. It is helpable, in my opinion. Uh, there's been some muscle wasting of the of this leg, the, the right leg compared to the left leg. Okay. onto that finger there, thank you. Right, I can't feel any break in the skin over 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 this um, fracture site, so that's good. Okie dokie. I'm just feeling for ear gun pellets or anything else that might be going on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright. Now you've got blood on the tail feathers. That's recent blood. Where does that come from? I think that's come from his leg when he was trying to come Probably his leg in his cage. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're just having a general look see. Now, um, alright. Well, we've made some progress in the assessment. His general body mass here, his pectoral muscles are still con convex, bulging out enough. His abdomen is concave. His liver is tucked in under his rib cage, under under the sternum, which is good. His throat feels empty, and his voice sounds normal. His tail's a bit broken. That's all right. Okay. We'll come back to this Maggie. Some Maggies will calm, and some Maggies won't. But anyway. Time, you just went for a little. We'll just manage you that way for a moment. Let's have a sleep, thank you. Okay, we'll stop that for a moment. That's a 